there. My name is Brianna Sproul with Garden Girl Seeds and I'm going to be doing a series on growing tomatoes from seed to harvest. Today I'll show you some simple tips on how to start your tomato seeds and get good germination. When starting your tomato seeds indoors, you want to start them 8 to 10 weeks before your last frost date. So here our last frost date is May 15th. So count eight to ten weeks back from your last frost date and if you don't know what your last frost date is you can check out online there's various different resources uh, Johnny's is a good one they have a very good uh, website article for that and you're going to want to start your seeds that eight to ten weeks before so this is the tenth week so I can start them now and today what I'm going to be planting is with you guys is the subarctic tomato and this is one of my favorites because it's early it's it's productive it has really dependable um, nice sized tomatoes so that's one of my favorites and these are the other ones that these are all the varieties I feature in online on the garden girl seed website so for the container we're using, we're using a two inch by two inch six cell pack and I just have a bunch of them here that load up one tray and you're going to want to use a container that's very good sized. Uh, it can even be a two liter milk jug works really good. And you're going to want it that size because um, tomato plants are very vigorous when they get going. And in this, this size, even though it may not seem that big, it, it holds them at least until we can plant out. So it's, it's a perfect size. And once we're ready to plant out, we don't have to pot them up or anything. So that's really good. Once you have your container, you can fill it up with a moist seed starting mix. We like to use SunGrow 1 and it has a nice a bit of fertilizer in there that gives the seedlings a nice boost when they're coming up so you're going to want to go with something like that that'll help them start have a good start so once you get your soil moist you just want to i have a this kind of this wood piece of wood and we just kind of give it a good little pack so to get the any air out so they're nice and full and you're going to want to take your seed right here that comes in this nice little plastic bag which keeps it nice and fresh and you're going to want to make at least an eighth of an inch deep for your tomatoes and that's just like a small indentation with your finger and you're going to want to take your seeds and I like to do Two, at least two seeds. They're, tomato seeds are very vigorous, but I still I like to do two just to make sure nothing's gonna happen. And you just want to plop them in there like so. And it really helps when you're starting with moist soil because it gives them the soil the the, the water in the soil actually gets the seed going and gets the seed in, in the germination state. So nice moist soil is what you need. So we'll pat those closed. And then you can pat it gently so the seed has contact with the soil. And that's pretty well it. So I'll finish off this tray and then we'll go check out the grow room and I'll give you some tips on how to get these guys germinated. Got the tray done and if you need to get it moist some more you can water it again before putting it in your grow area and make sure you mark it as well. As you can see I just have a simple simple label there because it really helps when you get different tomatoes going helps to make sure you know which ones they are. Here we are in our grow room. As you can see, there's lots of cool plants starting to grow here and it's super exciting. And you're going to want to have your area where you're starting your tomato seed about 65 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit in heat so the plants can germinate and it really helps to have 
a bottom heat, like our heat mats here, because it gives them that bit of heat to start off. If you don't have a heat mat, you can also use a refrigerator, the top of the refrigerator, or a freezer works fine. Anything to give it that little bit of kick to start. We also like to use these humidity domes, which keep the moisture in, as well as act as another source of heat for your seeds to start. So that really helps. And this is just till they germinate. And then when they germinate, you take them right off the heat source and you take the domes off and put them under these lights or by a bright window, specifically a western or south facing, will be good for your plants. We really appreciate these LED lights since they give good light to the seeds when they emerge, which prevents them from becoming leggy and weak plants. So they'll then grow up becoming strong and healthy plants. So that's it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome content. And thank you for watching. This is Brianna at Garden Girl Seeds. Have a great day.